Okay, how are we doing out there? First things first, my name is Kenneth Bird. My company is Crystal Edge Technology Screens, and I'm here to talk about why gray screen paint mixes are a complete fail. Number one, they can't back their products up to black and white paints because that's something you have to be really concerned about, whether or not if the product has capability of being something more than what it's supposed to be. And what I've seen so far in some of the demonstrations, I've not seen these products backed up to black and white paint or any form of test that we have done over here. Now we have to test our screens against black fabric and black paint and so forth, just to show that there is a difference. And at the end of the day, as I said before, that these screen paint mixes cannot produce contrast, or gray mixes cannot produce contrast or can't produce contrast, sorry, can't produce contrast or color, my fault. Now, as I said before, they do produce a very good high white level, but again, at the end of the day, a white level can be extremely dangerous because it can wash your screen out. And as you can see, we're in the dark, we have no light in the environment, and just a little bit of LED lights we have, and we're using our Chrissy 5000 lumen projector, full 1080p, and as you can see, that the gray screen paint mixes are having a very difficult time pulling up a basic color red. Now we're gonna do a slow color change out real quick. Well, first we'll change over to some blue, and as you can see, can't pick up blue. And over here, as you can see, when it comes to the color slow change out, they're having a very difficult time maintaining color. Now the two products we have here are made by a fellow by the name of Crow1176, uh, who makes screen paint products. And at the end of the day, as I explained to him many times before, that these gray and light gray products are old. They're like seven years old. We have a product under Digital One Crystal Screen Paint. It's a very old product. It's been around for quite some time. And at, at that particular time when I was developing this product, uh, getting a chance to experience darker technology, I decided to go in the path of darker technology because, you know, I could produce get more better contrast, get much better color, and all around was much better than the screen paint I was using at the time. So like I said before, when it comes to technology, you have an option, you roll with it or get crushed by it. And I'm glad I rolled with it. So as you can see, it's having a very difficult time picking up color at 5,000 lumens and around 13 feet back from the screen. We're using on this screen right here, our uh, final black phantom invisible technology. This is coded onto a large screen, about 60, by 159. Okay, as you can see, it does not pick up color at all. And this is the reason why when you see these gray screens, when they try to produce contrast, they have a lot of tannish around the screen, a lot of washed out tannish look to it. Colors are faded, bland, and washed out. They have to be used in ambient light controlled environments. Some of them must depend on ultra short throws because of the distance throw, it's not there. And they must depend on high end projectors. But even with the high end projector we have, you can see the screen paint is just failing miserably. Now, not only does this effect happen inside, but it also happens outside. Those of you who want to use these gray screen paint products for your home theater setup outside, bad idea. All right, let's go outside and show you what we got. We have the Chrissy projector at 5,000, sorry, 4,000 lumens, 720p. Show you what we got. Slow color change out. Visit YouTube to learn more about search. What's one thing fans can expect from me this season? I'm gonna be the coach, the cheesiest of all time. Cheese it. it. Has the same reaction outside or inside as it does outside. My stand here grounds a little uneven here. So the largest screen, the big screen you're seeing, is 150 inch of our uh, Phoenix technology, which is black. The light gray screen is actually a gray screen paint mix on a 70 inch sample sheet. Step close. You can see it for yourself. Let's bring up a star filled screensaver getting that from youtube doesn't see contrast as you can see 4k snow screensaver and mind you, our technology was supposed to be so dark that you basically could not see the screen. Let's see if we can make the screen so dark you can't see it. 
There you go. Now we always expect for our white levels to drop a little bit when it comes to darker screens, but not to the point where they're gonna be so dark that you can't see the screen. Let's come over here and show you the angle gain. So that's the angle gain on our technology. Image comes up nice and bright as always. All right, let's go back inside and repeat the same demonstration in there. Starfield inside on 5,000 lumens. As you can see, screen is completely washed out, does not pick up. Picks up white levels, that's based about it, but the contrast, not even there. And let's pick up the snow levels. Oops, sorry about that. And that's our snow levels right there. As you can see that the gray screen paint can only maintain a white level to a certain degree. It doesn't pick up contrast, it doesn't pick up color. And this is a product you have to use in an ambient light controlled environment. And even in the dark, the screen still can't pick up its colors and contrast correctly. Where our technology can maintain its white levels, can maintain color and contrast without a problem. This is why I feel 100% that these products are obsolete when it comes to gray screen paint mixes. They just can't see color. So at the end of the day, you have to worry about whether or not if your projector is calibrated properly, if you have too much light in the environment, you have to worry about whether or not, you know, if you paint this stuff on your, on your, on your projection screen setup, you have destroyed your investment because at the end of the day, you're gonna have to go back and repaint it again with our technology. And at the end of the day, you have to know 100% that your product is not going to be a black and white mixture. It's going to be exactly what it was meant to be as a screen paint. All right. Hope you enjoyed the video demonstration. Thank you for your time. I have to go and God bless. Oh, let me show you some, um, some pretty work, some, um, some abstract on here. Just basic everyday stuff we'll show you on here real quick. Let's just show you how amazing the colors and contrast and all everything just comes together on our technology. Here we go. I had to show a little video at the end. We'll let that play for a minute. amazing our white levels are on our technology that we can blend in to a gray screen paint product that is much brighter than ours we're going to pause right here on this one we're done here just going to pause right on this one we're done with that video in there let's go outside with the same video about to play again and we're done
All right, hope you enjoyed the video demonstration. Thank you for your time. I gotta go and God bless. Oh, let me get the angle game real quick. While we're at it. Do you like to get the angle game on our black screens? Here we go.